Today we are answering the age-old question, which door is safe? Have you ever been in an office block just wanting to find your way either back to your desk or out the front door so that you can go home to your wife and kids, but you're wondering which door is safe? Well, <laughs> I know you've never done that, but today we are in this particular situation. How do I even know which door is the safest? Oh wait, a killer? A lion that hasn't eaten in three years or a massive fire. I'm gonna guess that none of these doors are that safe. <laughs> now my intro makes no sense. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Seven Second Riddles. You guys absolutely love the last one and I like stretching my brain and molding it with real life situations just like this. So I'm gonna press this button and in seven seconds, we're gonna try and figure out which door is in fact safe so we can run home, get some fast food and eat on our couch. Only joking. Eat healthy, guys. Eat healthy. <laughs> the lion might be eating healthy because he might be eating me. Um, none of them. I'm gonna guess a fire. Why did I guess a fire? It can't be a fire. The lion? You can distract the lion with food you have in your pocket? I'm gonna say the lion. I've changed my mind. Lion. What is it? Show me this logic. Okay. What, what do you want? What do you guys want? Neither of these look appetizing. Uh, did the lion die? Was I right? He's dead as he hasn't eaten for three years. Yes! Wait, that's sad. Why is, why is there a lion just locked in a room? That's, I'm sad now. I got it right, but my logic was completely flawed. <laughs> Next! How can the boy survive? Hold on a second. That is not a boy. <laughs> He's got a full beard. Show me a boy that can grow a beard like that. I am a 27 year old man. I can't grow a beard like that, so this is no boy. This is but a mere man, and he looks like he's in trouble. He somehow chopped down the tree. A lion chased him while he climbed the tree to escape. He was threatened by a worm, and now he's found himself dangling above alligators on a tree that he started chopping down. <laughs> this poor boy. Okay, let's figure this out. How does the boy survive? Oh, it's giving me 30 seconds. I can just sit back, relax, and come back to this riddle later. What, what was it again? It was, he's just gonna, he's just gonna grab the snake by the neck and throw him down. That's what's gonna happen. Distracts the alligators and swim away. Did I get it right? What's he gonna do? Oh, oh, it's kinda right. I actually, did I get it right? This snake is gonna bite this lion. She's interrupted my riddles. Two heads are better than one. So it, it turns out he did throw the snake. <laughs> what? <laughs> are you seeing this? What is happening? There's no way he survived that. Surely. What do you think? No, nah, I didn't think so either. So you know what? I was correct about him throwing the snake, but he threw it at the lion. The lion was like, calm down, bro. Please, let's just call it a truce and eat this boy in the tree. Uh, the snake says no, we spend too long talking about it. He slays the snake and just walks over to the lion and kills it and runs away. I'm calling nonsense on that. I don't see this happening. First, he calls himself a boy and then he single-handedly kills a lion with an ax. I don't know. I'm calling nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second to figure out what that was. I shouldn't be lying. Who wins? The pelican or the frog that he is trying to swallow? I keep pausing it. I'm sorry, I'm cheating. I think the frog is gonna win this. You know why? He's grabbing the he's grabbing the pelican by the throat. So that means he can't swallow the frog because then it'll get caught by where the frog is holding and then it'll spit him back out. Is that what's going on here? I hope so. Give me the answer. These seven seconds don't feel like seven seconds right now. Come on, show me who wins. This is the fight of the century. How has this bird not died yet? Oh, wait, I think it's happening. <laughs> Tell us your alternate endings. Who threw a rock at this bird? And whoever threw this rock, that was a terrible throw. I knew the frog would win. Always choose the frog to win in a fight. Which door is safe? Oh, I love these ones. You're in a dark room with no electricity and there are three doors in front of you. One has a snake, the lion is back, and the other one is... Oh, it's an electric chair, are you kidding me? Electric chair, there's no electricity. I've already figured this one out. Poisonous snakes? No, stop opening the door, they're gonna attack you. Jeez, 
The lion. He hasn't eaten for days. You're using the same logic here. This isn't, uh, this isn't fair. But it ain't the lion. They said there's no electricity. An electric chair with an executioner. Even if there was electricity, just run straight past it. These riddles are easy. I don't need just seven seconds. I'm fast forwarding it. No, give me the answer right now. Shock. It's the electric chair because it won't work without electricity. An executioner will go out to check it. Great. Me one, executioner zero. After a terrible shipwreck. I don't know why I'm doing a walkie talkie sound. <laughs> oh, is that us? A sailor awoke on a desert island. Oh no, well, who is this? Oh, hold up. With only women. Is this the beginning of one woman who wanted to kill him? Oh no, they haven't eaten in days either. This is where all the lions come from. They haven't eaten in days. They don't wanna eat the ladies. So as soon as a man comes, they burn him at the stake like a witch. I have just uh, one last wish. Is he whispering it to her? What are you saying? And he voiced his wish. The women built him a boat, gave him food, and set him free. What did the sailor say? I taste like dirt? Did he tell him they had a disease? So if they ate him, they'd get the disease? <laughs> That's what I'm going with. Go on, sail away, buddy. I don't even care what he said. He escaped from being burnt on a fire. What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? I want the ugliest woman to kill me. Nah. That's not what you said, was it? <laughs> he said he had a life-threatening disease, and if any of them ate him, they would catch it. That's way easier than this. The guards at the Alcatraz prison intercepted a letter shared among the most violent of criminals. However, it is encrypted, and the ink will disappear in one minute. Okay, let's put my policeman's hat on. I'm ready for this. Can you crack the code and discover the plan? S... Escape tonight. Down the bottom left. Look, there it is. Escape tonight. Love it. Now you've got to try and stop them. <laughs> you know they're going to do it, but how are you going to stop them? That's all the time that I spent in prison coming in handy. Wait, you didn't know about that, did you? Well, it, it helped me to solve this riddle. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the criminal? Getting away from the police. A criminal ran into a house. He's running real fast. Where a costume party was going on. Not bad. I was going to say, why is the door left open? But guests are arriving for a party. The criminal wore a costume and joined the crowd. Oh no, the criminal is a child. What? The police looked at these people and identified the criminal at once. Okay. Who is the criminal? Why are they all kids? <laughs> um, I'm not seeing this. The witch, the kids... How did they identify him at once? The witch, because she's got no mask. Is that it? Because she's just going to walk in, steal something, and then people are going to recognize her face. All costumes are prepared carefully. I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Tell me I'm right. Except number three. Great. Why? Skull, mask, vampires, cape, hulks, pants, and no shoes. I'm confused. Obviously, he rushed to wear whatever he found and quickly blended into the crowd. No, 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 hold on. What? Oh, I think I see what you mean. Is the logic here that he just quickly grabbed stuff? Oh, my brain. Actually, I can feel it throbbing. It hurts. You gotta think that far outside the box. I'm not sure I want to play anymore. <laughs> Where is the prisoner hiding? The police have lost trace of the guy that just stole, who <laughs> we just identified as the prisoner. Where is he hiding? 20 seconds. He's going to be hiding in the pool. It's nothing to do with the way the cars are laid out, is it? He can jump out and just run into the house. I don't know. C. The logic in this is very flawed. I'm going to say C. I don't, I'm not sure. Tell me the answer, please. Oh, it's not those. The shortest way to escape. I'm choosing a different video. This one sucks. <laughs> Tony was going home late at night. Be careful, Tony. He was passing by an abandoned house. Don't go in, Tony. Looks like there's two abandoned houses there. When he spotted the lights in its basement. Tony, if you've ever played a horror game or watched a horror film, just you, you should know never to go in the basement. Come on. It's simple horror logic. Tony came closer and heard lots of voices. No, Tony, 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 please don't go. Please. It seemed that there was some kind of a competition. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Th this could be fun. 
and people were cheering for somebody. Tony went downstairs and saw a boxing ring. Look at his face. My man is shook. But there were three superheroes. What? Where does Tony live? We have Mr. Frosty, Lightning Man, and in the middle we just have the regular ordinary superhero. Speed Boy, the fastest human in the world. Okay, sorry. I've misidentified people here. Uh, time Boy can travel in time. And then Iceman can freeze anything in three seconds. Yeah, who wins? Um, I can't remember what they did, and I've just read them out. Time Boy can affect time. So I'm going to guess Time Boy. He can just pause and just get out of there. He doesn't need to win the fight. He can just leave and let the other two just deal with it. Time Boy is going to win. Time Boy is going to win. See, I told you. See if my logic matches. He can go to the future to see how the other heroes will fight. I like that. My idea was a little bit different. <laughs> and then go to the past to prepare for their attacks. That's pretty good, actually. Mary is a private detective. So she is. She likes things to be formal. Is someone going to die? Is she going to die? So many criminals hate her. Oh my goodness. Every morning she has breakfast at Lion's Cafe. She's going to die, isn't she? I don't like this. One day it rained. A lot. And it grew an umbrella from the ground. Mary ordered a cup of coffee and went outside. As usual, even in the rain. Brave choice. After some time, a van parked by the cafe. Oh no, she's going to die or she's going to be kidnapped. Two men got out of the van and started to move boxes. You need to be careful. Mary! She had a craving for a piece of cheesecake. Mary, this cheesecake is going to be the death of you! And headed to the bar. Oh, it's over. In a few seconds, the van started moving. And took her space and rolled towards her table. The table got smashed and the van hit a lamppost. The owner of the cafe ran outside. Look what you've done. He's angry. Look at him. Don't you know how to park? But Mary realized that that was no coincidence. So he shouts at them and just walks off after they've made thousands of dollars worth of damage. Nice. I think she's been assassinated. It was an attempt on her life. See, I told you. What do you mean, how did she know? It tried to run over where she sat. <laughs> How did she know? It just is pure fact. It tried to run over her table. The rainwater runs in the opposite direction. <gasps> the van couldn't move by inertia. It was a... Oh, I see. Sorry, I don't know what inertia means. <laughs> I think it means water flows, like downhill. So, it did not not have its handbrake on. It was reversed into her chair. It was... It, there was a downhill slope. Are the criminals still sitting in the van? Because we didn't see them- we didn't see them get out, so... <laughs> this is the worst criminal ever. One of the most valuable pieces was stolen. Oh, that's some serious, serious equipment from the Museum of Precious Metals. Only a few scientists knew... That that- that it was a key component for making a bomb. The crown! That could destroy the entire city. Hold, hold, hold on a sec! The crown was an ingredient for a bomb. How? They asked Spider-Man for help? <laughs> Spider-Man out of nowhere, what? These riddles make less and less sense the more I watch them. He picked up the criminal's trail with his web sensory powers and they were <laughs> in an enchanted house. Oh my goodness. He managed to take away the metal and web them up real nice, but the- Oh, okay, never mind. Spider-Man failed. But the criminal has escaped. What's going on? You having an off day, sir? And destroyed all safe exits from the house. Oh, so they're still in here? Smart Spidey. He found a room with three doors. We're back here again. That led to the exit. It's fine. One of the doors has a hungry lion in it. So one of the perpetrators is bound to be eaten by now. However, there was a danger behind... Oh, it actually is, wait. An infinite abyss. So you run out and it's like Takeshi's castle. You just fall straight in the mud or die. A cave with lots of venomous spiders. That's how you got your powers, to be fair. Or there's quicksand. Which door should Spider-Man choose? Spider-Man can do whatever he wants. He could go through A and just web across. He can go into B because he's been bitten multiple times before. I'm going to say B. Go say hi to your family. These are your ancestors in here. They won't touch a spider. No spider can hurt Spider-Man. That's right. I'm not entirely sure that's true, though. What is this? What is this game? Is it Tetris? Minecraft. It's Fortnite. Are you serious? 
There we go. <laughs> At least I got one thing right. Oh, now Minecraft appears. What's wrong with this pig? This pig isn't in Minecraft. Hold up a sec. We've got an imposter. They could have at least put a creeper behind one of the doors. That would have been amazing. <laughs> Minecraft. It's Minecraft. Go on, give me another one. Give me another one. Uh, that's, that looks like Fortnite still. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is Overwatch, right? I've never played, but I'm pretty sure that's Overwatch. There we go. I've passed my video game test. I can continue being a video game YouTuber. Oh, there's more. PUBG. If the middle guy hadn't have shown up, I'd have had no idea on this one. <laughs> I can't lose my YouTube license for gaming. Oh, what's this? Is this Borderlands? I'm pretty sure this is Borderlands by the art style. I played Borderlands one a long time ago. I'm pretty sure it is. It is, yes. It's still going, my goodness. I actually don't know this one. I have no idea. It's not League of Legends. I'm about to lose my gaming license. What is it? I have to know. I have to know what was it. League of Legends? Yep, it's League of Legends. <laughs> yes. Right, let's finish off these last few riddles. I'm on a roll. Who is dangerous? Well, I think there's a lot of danger here. There's a knife. Oh, wait, they're shopping. I think they're shopping. It's got a price tag. And the girl on the left literally has a gun satchel. That isn't even like a handbag in the shape of a normal handbag. That's a handbag in the shape of a gun. <laughs> She's the person, she's the girl from the, the cinema the other day, wasn't she? I'm pretty sure. Ah! They're shopping for kitchen utensils, see? I thought I got it wrong then. And she just has a gun. She's dangerous. This guy's gonna, he's gonna be in the next riddle on the floor. <laughs> and there you go. Our brain is stretched yet again. Thank you, seven seconds riddles. I appreciate it. So there you go. That is some more brain training. I really enjoy these. The situations and stuff. Definitely this time, we're way more crazy. Spider-Man popped out of nowhere. We, we learned that a gun handbag is a thing. I think we got most of them, right? Oh, and if you, you want to choose between three doors when you've just confused and lost your way, just bear in mind, there might be a, a ravenous lion behind one of them. Or one that hasn't been fed for a while. So you should be able to get past it. <laughs> But anyway, that's pretty much it from me. I hope you enjoyed the riddles. If you did and would like to see some more, then please leave a like on this video. That'd be greatly appreciated. Click that thumbs up button. And if you feel like subscribing and stick around for more videos every single day, why don't you go down below this video, bottom right, and click that red subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>